Hello and welcome back for my tutorials. In this tutorial I will show how you can use a hook in uh, Falcon. That's meaning you can trigger some function or class before you uh, you hit the get and the post and and the delete functions and you can trigger it with after. In this tutorial I only show you the before because it's very important when when you build a, a REST API you can make a authentication about the user it is locked in it's not locked in if it's not reject before you trigger the function so let's starting to import our falcon and then build our class object resource and we want to trigger on get and we want to trigger on post but we what I want to show you here is uh, it's basically want you, you want to update an account or you want to get information about account and both require you are signed in as a user so let's play around with that now we have the two functions we want to trigger our API we need to add a root and we want to trigger our object so let's say we want a print on get so we can see we trigger the get function and we want to on post so let's start Okay, let's say this one. Sorry. On um, port 8001. Now it's open and see nothing respond, but it's triggered. And if you're going for post, is doing the same so let's uh, stop it again and now we want a little a little more we want an output and we can see it and we want to put the user ID it's none right now we don't know it and here's the post and the response media should be output let's start again and we can see we have the post trigger and we have the get trigger so now the funny part is coming we want to build a Falcon before trigger. It's called hook. So let's build a class. We want to authentication. And we want to say when we call it, we want to it's called self and we expect a rows, a list should be the rules and when you when we call the the class we will trigger this function self res uh, request respond resource and params what we want to say is you're locked in as a row in, in, in this funny case we only play around with an element so let's say if element in the row the row we use later 
then we want to say the respond user ID is equal to 5 it could be anything else we want to quit it out with a falcon debug bad request and then a message you are not a element right now everything is fine if we open up our application again you can see nothing happen it's just tricking the magic come here make an add falcon before and then we say element because our user is element and normal and I guess that's what we want to get access for in our use case and we want to return uh, we want always to return the user ID um, so the user that make the request can see the exact user ID for, for, for the user so let's run it again oh. the rows is not error sorry now we are running again and you can see it's internal server perfect uh, just a second should be here I'm trying again Let's say we want to request, sorry, it's my mistake. It's because post doesn't have a respond. Here and post. Okay, never mind. I have a little error here, but the idea is you want to, to transfer the information from the call Uh, from a call if something is going right then you return it else you deny it so let's say we only want to the git it's working to see the user id uh, i probably have been too quick to to make this simple with the post but the idea is you trigger the before function before the post and the before the git so let's say you doesn't this element so I want to remove the element here from the user start the, the request up again and we see the bad request and it's still having oh Okay, now I have the, <laughs> the solution. Sorry for the a little mistake here. Yes, you need to uh, to trigger the the Falcon before before your statement. I just thinking, I just expect it's triggering every function, but it doesn't. 
So let's say the you need to be the you need to be Elvin to get the post and you need to be an element to get a get and in this case our get is element and a post is doesn't is the element but our code here say you need to be an element role to get access so let's start the final program again we will start off with the, the get it should get it you can see and if we change it to post it should deny yeah bad request because it doesn't this element in the real world you probably don't send this inside you will trigger it inside here as a db get user row and from a database you will get a row so you always have the right rank so you can deny the rank for every single request if the user going from normal user to guest and doesn't have the rank anymore so this is a little tutorial about how you can use uh, a before function to uh, restrict your access around thank you for watching i hope you enjoy and i hope you can live with my little mistake i'm so sorry so if you have a comment please make a comment below and give it a like share it with your friends if you if you like it and subscribe my channel if you get uh, if you want more video from me thank you and see you next time